June is Pride Month and a time for celebration in the LGBTQ community. But as Michael Tater reports tonight, in small towns like Defiance, support can be hard to come by and even small events go a long way toward acceptance. It's real. Kids commit suicide every single day because they're just simply afraid to say, I'm gay. It's 2021, but that remains a reality for many in the LGBT community and even more so for those in small towns. That's why a small mini pride fest held at D-Town Food Market in Defiance means so much to their community. This is the timing for us to stand up and be like, we're here, we support you. You need to be, be you to be happy. Stacy Flannery runs Anchor LGBT Plus and works with young people in Defiance like Gage Seeger. He says he's been bullied in school as a gay man and events like this make him feel validated. Just have this and it not be an issue and have a place for people who do feel different and do feel like they are outcasts in a way to come together and have a safe place to just be you. Last month, a video went viral showing a Defiance middle schooler being assaulted by a fellow student while wearing a pride flag. Siegert says he's faced similar attacks and more needs to be done by schools, calling the attacks hate crimes. It was just heartbreaking, like because People, it happens, like it happens around here. Teachers, administrations, they really do ignore it. He says schools need to do more to address mental health and tolerance. Even something as simple as hanging a rainbow flag or an ally sticker in their windows, Flannery says businesses can be a part of creating a more inclusive community. Hopefully these events will just let those kids and adults and people struggling know like, hey, we're here for you, we want you here, your life matters. Organizers are planning for a parade and an even bigger festival next year. In Defiance, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.